The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have insisted they always intended to keep up public duties after quitting the royal family, and say a distorted narrative had been created to trap them into silence. Harry and Meghan never cited privacy as the reason for stepping back as senior working royals more than two years ago, a spokeswoman said. Watch in the video above, Peter Ford weighs in on Harry and Meghan's Netflix series. For more royal family related news and videos check out royal family greater than greater than a statement from their global press secretary accused the tabloids of creating an entirely untrue narrative around privacy and said the royal couple are choosing to share their story on their terms. The statement on Friday comes after the first three episodes of the couple's Netflix series aired. In it, Harry accused the royals of having a huge level of unconscious bias when it comes to race, and Meghan alleged that the media wanted to destroy her. On Friday, a statement from the couple's global press secretary said, the Duke and Duchess have never cited privacy as the reason for stepping back. This distorted narrative was intended to trap the couple into silence. In fact, their statement announcing their decision to step back mentions nothing of privacy and reiterates their desire to continue their roles and public duties. Any suggestion otherwise speaks to a key point of this series. They are choosing to share their story, on their terms, and yet the tabloid media has created an entirely untrue narrative that permeates press coverage and public opinion. The facts are right in front of them, the couple have received criticism over the six-part series, the final three episodes of which will air on Thursday, for apparently attacking British institutions as they discuss their experiences including racism. In January 2020, the Sussexes revealed they intended to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent. They officially left the monarchy in March 2020, Harry and Meghan signed lucrative deals, thought to be worth more than US$100 million, United States dollars, 180 million Australian dollars, with Netflix and Spotify after quitting, with the docuseries this week, the first major output for them on the streaming giant. Conservative MP Bob Seeley questioned why Harry continues to use his title of Duke, and said he planned to bring forward legislation that could eventually strip the couple of their royal titles, but a no. Ten spokesmen said, we do not support the proposal. In the series, Harry said members of his family questioned why Meghan needed more protection from the media than their wives had been given, but he said they failed to grasp the race element. The couple also took aim at the British media, with Meghan claiming, salacious stories, were planted, in the lead-up to their wedding. Harry said he felt it was his duty to uncover the exploitation and bribery, within the media, and he spoke of the harassment, his mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, suffered and the fear that Meghan would also be, driven away by the media.